All right. Actually skipped a few uh, real life days. We should be getting the campsite soon. And we should also uh, have Mabel finish by today. I hope she's here today. I bought the 10 grand worth of stuff. But she still has to come one more time and say, hey, we'd actually like to set up shop. Good morning, everyone. Right now, never free. It is the very much wrong day. No big news to share, but one seasonal topic. Ah, uh, yeah, the summer shells. I need to start picking up shells. Yeah, because this is my first time here in that. Get a DIY. Shell wreath. Okay, so we need to go to resident services. That should trigger the campsite quest. Hey, Bertha. Bloop. Today is already fun. See Audi up there. Damn. No Mabel. That's fine. Still need to water our plants. Or I could just buy, uh... Can I? I don't know if I have the option for island things yet. Tyler, it's nice to see you again. Oh, I don't think I've seen you in here, though. Let me give you a quick overview. At this counter, I can help you with both general issues and issues you may face with other residents. We can delve into the details of specific concerns arise. No need to worry about that right now. But since you're here, I may as well ask, do you have any specific concerns at the moment? Indeed I do. My first official request... <clears throat> I'm sorry. That wasn't professional, was it? Who the fuck cares? You just see me at work. How can I help you today? Flag. Okay, so I cannot... I cannot do a uh, island ordinance. That's what it's called. Island ordinance. Okay, let's talk to Tom Nook. Ah, Tyler, hello. Welcome to the new and improved resident services tent. Oh, did I say tent? Of course, I meant building. And we couldn't have built it without your help. Now, as I mentioned in my big broadcast, to provide even better services and support, Isabel and I will be splitting up duties here. Broadly speaking, I'll take care of anything related to homes or other construction issues. Isabel will help you with uh, general island matters and resident uh, support. Sit at the appropriate counter when you need help, and we'll rush over in two swishes of a raccoon's tail. In fact, have a seat now, we can just introduce you to some new services. Now with that out of the way, there's something I want your help with, but it'll take time to discuss. When you have a moment, please come back to my counter again. I hope I can count on your continued support of Everfree and our new resident services building. I literally have to get out of the chair and back in. <laughs> yes, yes, this is construction. I'm still waking up. Before we begin, allow me to quickly explain the services offered at my counter. In addition to my normal duties, I can also talk issues related to island construction. There are lots of fun little projects that will make this island a more comfortable place to live. I can help with building bridges or inclines, such as ramps and stairs, or even moving existing buildings, which we will be doing a lot of, because nothing is placed where it goes. These are optional extras for your island experience, so these services will of course incur additional fees, and with that information in mind, what do you think? How about a of assistance? You wanted my help. 
Oh, you're already eager to hear how you can help out. Hmm? Well, we've got a fine building for the resident services now, and he no doubt admired the plaza. Hmm? It's primed and ready for major events, if I have anything to say about it. To think that we started with a deserted island and have grown into a big, bustling community. I want to do something grand to celebrate. Oh yes, I have big plans. Got your attention, hmm? Our goal is to have the incredibly popular musician K.K. Slider come and put on a show here on Everfree. Tyler, I'm sure you know who K.K. is, yes? <laughs> Should I say not a clue just to fuck with him? Nah. I always knew you had an excellent taste, Tyler. By the way, his song K.K. Lament is my go-to karaoke song. Sorry about that, as you might have guessed, I'm a big fan, it's easy to get sidetracked talking about him. Back to our goal, if we hold a KK concert here on Everfree, here Everfree could become a household name. We've done a lot so far, so the further develop... And develop blah, blah, blah. I just cannot talk or read this morning. A KK show would be the culmination of all our hard work. I'd love your cooperation, Tyler. When you're ready for more details, ask me what should I do again. Okay, I can't press it. What should I do? Ah, I take it this means you are ready to hear the details of my plan to draw KK here to hold a concert. I call it Project K. This plan of mine is divided into three main stages. First, we need more visitors to come to our island. Next, we need more folks to move here. And finally, we work hard to increase the overall image of this island. We'll increase the number of tourists and residents, and we'll create an Everfree so loved. Word of how great this island is, we'll reach KK and he'll accept offer to host a concert here. So for this first step, we'll increase the number of tourists by adding a campsite to our island. The campsite will make it easier for visitors to experience life here, and it'll make great PR material too. With that in mind, could you get out your phone, Tyler? Can't wait to see how many million was this takes. I do not remember. So do I have island ordinance now? I don't! So I do have to water the flowers before we skip a day. Alright, let me take a sip really quick. So, campsite, 15 of every wood. Oh, and iron nuggets. Okay, we're only behind on the normal wood. I need 14 of that, only four iron nuggets. That should not be too terrible. Do I have an ax? I do. All right, so four iron nuggets. There's a rock right behind the building. Alright, come on, be nice. Have good RNG. One. <laughs> come on. Two. Halfway there. over here. I cannot wait to make Rock Island. One. Come on, just one more. Just one more. O okay, I'm not complaining about gold. I'm not complaining about gold. Looking at this shiny golden nugget is making me feel like royalty. I've got an idea for a DIY recipe. But 
Damn it, you just couldn't give me one more iron nugget, huh? There was a rock down here. Where was it? Here it is. Never thought I'd say this, but please don't be money rock. Okay. Just wanted to thank you. Okay, iron's good. Now it gives me three. And I do realize I'm a little loud, so sorry about that. Okay, uh, wood. That's what we need. We need 14 freaking wood. All right, there's two. Triple. Five. Uh, seven. Halfway there. Come on. Eight. So I have the stone, but do I have the sticks? I do. Still pick up a few on the way. Two more axes. I also just realized, why the hell is my... Oh, right. I played Mario Party earlier. Okay, now it's back to normal. Uh, let's craft. That's what I got, the Pharaoh's face. Start with the trees over here now. Good, good, good. That's what we want. There's good RNG. Yes, no. no. So where am I? I need two more. Just two more. Thank you so much. Love RNG. Yes. Yes, we're done. Hey, Adi. Morning, Tyler. Extra. I'm probably done cleaning up. It was totes hard work, but I did it. Now I've got room to dance. Hold up, I just remembered. I thought maybe you like this, so here you go. Just a chic little souvenir I bought from a, my last island. Check it. It's a portable record player. I just have this feeling it might be your thing. Now it might be everything too. Ooh, don't break it. Is this what I think it is? Is this the tall one or the short one? It's the short one. Alright, well, 
let's make the campsite now. Okay. Now, do I actually place this where it goes, or just throw it down in the meantime until we actually really figure it out? I know the general area. We're going up here next to the house. Can this make it? Yes. So yeah, my house is going to go up here. Not up here, this is where the campsite's going. Yeah, my house is going to be up here, next to the waterfall. So yeah, my house will be around this area. We'll have a nice little yard garden and everything. And then the campsite will go down here. Just precisely where? I don't know yet. That's the thing. I might as well just throw it up against the cliff for now. Because it, it takes me a minute to really map everything out. And we're not into the actual, like, decorating episodes yet. So I'm actually going to throw this, because like I said, it's going over here. Just where precisely, I don't know. I haven't measured everything out, so I'll just throw it up against this cliff for now. Talk to Tom Nook. I'll actually water the flowers really quick as well. Hello. Is this really more than five wide? There you go. Oh. My wall of bushes. I see. So now. It's water. Please clone yourself. And we have these. Yeah, if you have Island Beauty, you actually do not have to water your flowers. That's why I want it so bad. really quick. Oh. Oh, 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 where's my sling shot? Mounted black bass. Nook Miles. What are you? Ah, uh, the flower tender. <laughs> ah, Tyler. Hello, hello. Have you found a good location for our campsite? It's in the general place where it's going to be, but not precise yet, like everything else. Now 
now that the location is settled, we can proceed with structure. Tomorrow we'll have a wonderful campsite, and by tomorrow you mean five minutes from now. Right up. I wanted to customize my tools so they don't break. So let's start with the watering can. Oh, it's got to be pink. We'll do the shovel. Yes, okay. And then the net. Because I don't know how many bugs we've caught. Now let's upgrade our fishing rod. I can't believe I haven't done that yet. There we go, that's fresh. So is there anything I need to do today before we move on? I watered the flowers. I'm pretty sure that's it. Oh, I should actually look for the DIY really quick. There's always that DIY that washes up on your shore. I've been neglecting to pick those up too because I'm just focused on getting all this done. So we could do all the actual fun stuff in the game. The decorating, the measuring, filling your museum. Oh, CJ's here. Might as well get this intro out of the way. What's up, fashionista? Oh, fashionista. Coming to you live from uh, right in front of you. I'm touring the islands looking for fresh faces and fresher fish, you know. Off of my live stream, fishing is real in all kinds of streaming numbers right now. Heard of eSports? Well, this is C Sports. Anyway, if I need a new fish, I want to keep my followers following. That's where you come in. If you got fish to sell, then I want to buy. Simple as that. I'll even pay premium. Neok. So you cash out, I get new selfies for my blog, and my viewers get to hear me talk fish. Everyone wins. So how about a challenge cheese for win-win, I'll take you up on my stream, plus my partner's into making slick collectibles if you want one. He's so talented, nyuk nyuk. Yeah, I gotta get a move on. I'm just looking for this recipe really quick. Shells, here it is. Alright, what we get? Pile of cash, come on. Garden rock. Time to head it forward today. Okay, I don't see Mabel in the thing. Damn it. Gonna just do a double whammy. I'm pretty sure she's in the lobby, or do I actually have to go into the shop? Got to go into the shop today, just to make sure. But for now, campsite's up. Good morning. Now for today's announcement. Everfree has its very own campsite. The campsite is a place for visitors to experience the beauty of our island and the kindness of its residents. I can't think of anything more fitting forever free. I'm sure we'll get plenty of visitors, so take a moment to wander and uh, spread the island charm. And of course, we'll be holding a special ceremony to celebrate the happy news. If you are interested in participating, please check in with Tom Nook at Resident Services. That's all for today. Have fun. So this might be a short day. Let's 
go. Anchovy. Everfree is the perfect size. Too big to see across, but too small for sea monsters to attack. Birdbath. Let me just make sure Mabel is actually not in here. They are not. Okay. Right, I gotta buy stuff. This is from my laboratory, so I'll take this. I'm in no rush to upgrade the shop, because that'll just gradually come. It doesn't change the size or well. It has a floor, but like the physical actual size, those those ropes are actually how big the uh, upgraded shop is. So you already have its size. And yeah, like this house, it has to move because the clothing shop is going to go next to this shop. Once I get everything measured out. Alright, so campsite. Sold the ceremony and just skip a day. We gotta get this done. Ah, Tyler. Hello, hello. Our campsite is impressive. Already getting inquiries and applications from tourists who want to stay here. Won't be long till we start getting some guests. When we have a guest, a tent will go up at a campsite, so be sure to keep an eye for, out for that. Even though we aren't able to officially start business at the campsite yet, what we need is for visitors to be completely wowed by the wonders of life on our island. I'd appreciate anything you can do to help improve the island. Yes, yes, do some weeding, plant some flowers, place some outdoor decorations. Oh, we gotta check the flowers and water the flowers. Not just skip ahead a day. Alright, let's hold the ceremony. Or the campsite. Splendid. Let's get started. Now then. Welcome to our dedication ceremony honoring Everfree's brand new campsite. Thank you. Thanks to everyone's tireless efforts, Everfree is developing wonderfully. Yes, yes. I do believe this campsite will bring more attention to Everfree. If we treat our guests well, they may consider moving here. It's just what any growing island needs. I want everyone here to stop by the campsite and have positive interactions with any guests here. So throw them off the cliff behind you. Got it. Speaking of positive interactions, let's hear from someone who saw it. Saw to it that we could build a campsite. Let's give a warm Everfree welcome to Tyler. Anything to add? Woo! Please get ready to bring this ceremony to a close. Can't even see Bertha's eyes. <laughs> Almost looks like her nose is her eyes. That's funny. All right, let's check our flowers. No clone on the orange. Nothing grew. Darn, darn. Go 
Bro. Clone yourself, man. You need that purple. Oh, we got a pink. Yes. Good flowers. Good flowers. Right, let's put this off. Alright. So pink down. The red and red are supposed to grow black. Red and yellow grow orange. Now this one's weird. The red and red combo can grow either a black lily or a pink lily. I need white lilies though to make the pink ones more likely. But we could get one or the other. Or they could be mean and just clone themselves and be another red. I saw balloon. You want a balloon, Georgie? Okay. Shellfish poche. Not sure if that's how you pronounce that. And also the DIY. Let's not forget the DIY before we move on. There it is. Alright, that didn't take long. Clothesline. Nothing I'll ever use, but might as well learn it. Yep, that's it. I mean, there's a lot of stuff we could do. We could bash trees and rocks and all that hoopla, but... That's all for later. We're just focused on getting the intro done. So we could actually do the fun stuff. Alright, well, Bertha's crossing the bridge, so... Hopefully Mabel's here. I think we should get a campsite villager. We should. It's scripted after the first day, right? Right? Well, Isabel will tell us. Good morning, everyone. Audie's birthday. Uh... Well, it's not like it's going to be the only one. We're, we're technically not even supposed to be here, so they'll cross again. Campsite? Yes. Now let's pray for a good villager. Because you are forced to take this villager. They will stay here for a thousand days. No matter how much you time travel, you can't skip the first campsite villager. Pray for a good one. For oh, pink. Nice, okay. Pink down, so... We're just missing perp. No, I blue. I need to put the two whites together. Let me put the two whites together really quick. We got the pink, so we don't need red and white to be together anymore. Still need one more orange, though. get there, but let's also get this done. Alright, you two, make a blue. And you, for the love of God, grow.
You too. Ah. Uh, need another yellow. Need another yellow. We got a pink, though. I told you. They can spawn either black or pink. All right. Getting, getting things going on the flowers. Unless this is orange and I'm just blind. It is not orange. Let's put this over here, I guess. So we got a few flowers there. Nice. So now, campsite. Let's see where our fate is. Who are we forced to take? Show me Bon Bon. Show me my honey bunny. Rooster, huh? <laughs> the ninja rooster. <laughs> Damn it. <sighs> oh well. It's not like it takes too long to get rid of people. Alright, let's just get this over with. I really don't want you to move here, but <laughs> I don't have a choice. Like I said, I could time travel a thousand days. You're just going to stay here until you move in. Can you go check with, like, the VIP manager? <laughs> A freaking karate rooster. <laughs> I blew all my luck. And it wasn't even luck because, again, she doesn't even have all her normal furniture. I blew all my luck getting Audi on the very first Snook Mile Island. Still can't run through there. Mabel. Okay, we could do this too. We could do this too. There's something I'd like to ask you today. Can I bend your ear for a bit? See, I wanted to ask you about a location for the store that we're thinking of opening. Thanks to you, we've gained a lot of customers on this island who can't wait for me to come here paddling. So I've been talking with my sister about opening a proper store right here on this island. So today, I came to chat with Tom Nook, and we had a great conversation. He was all like, we have some materials left over from building Nook's cranny, hmm? All that must be done then is select the appropriate location, yes? Oh-ho, and the perfect individual to, individual to help you find the location would be Tyler. Yes, hmm, yes. So I figured I'd just keep doing the traveler pedaling thing until I ran into you again. And that's now. Sure thing, but I still haven't really measured everything out, so I'm just going to plop this down. And like I said, this house is pretty much where the shop is going to go, so we can't even put it in its location right now. Um, what's open? Uh, 
there's a balloon. <laughs> And it looks like it is a different size from the, uh, the normal shop. Let me see. One, two, three, so that's five. So the tailor shop is five wide. Shop. One, two, three, four, and we're halfway there, so it's seven wide. So yeah, they are different sizes. This is, that's how you measure, by the way, is you dig. So you're seven and you're five. This is 12, I believe. One, two, three, four, five, six, and we're halfway, which means six to the other end. So yeah, 12. So the two shops combined without any spacing in between would be that. Which means I do have to off-center them. statue in the middle. Okay, like I said, we'll cross that road when we come to it. If I start brainstorming now, we're never going to leave. So now i got to talk to you again. Okay, now we got to go and talk to Tom Nook. Buy our first house. And then we could actually start uh, getting people out, too. Ah, Tyler. Hello, hello. Excuse me. Isbel mentioned it in today's broadcast, but today we have our first guest over at the campsite. Tyler, if you have time, or even if you don't have time, make time and go check in on our guest. And if you get an opening, try talking to them moving and talking them into moving to Everfree. What? Really? You've done it? And so quickly? And this means we have no time to waste. Hmm. Our next course of action will be building a new home. Now, Tyler, since you closed the deal with our visitor, you should be the one to pick the location for a new home. Now, I might actually go ahead and measure this out. Because I do want to start. So it'll be hard to explain on the map. But we'll have our main plaza here. The uh, shop. Slightly off-centered. We'll put a garden in between the two shops. Our tailor shop over here. Basically where this house is. And then the museum. Slightly off-centered with this, but we'll build like a little coffee area right next to it. That way it matches the size of uh, resident services. So then, then back here I'll build like a park or something. Not quite sure yet. This is going to be a lot of space to play with. How do they decorate? 
I'll build like a little mini cafeteria and whatnot here. But yeah, we'll have more open space over here. A lot of stuff I've got to come up with. There's so much open space. Now over here will be housing parts number one. Now you noticed how... Okay, so this is actually basically as far as the river comes. So this will be our measuring start. And we'll start here. So eventually we'll measure up. Blah, blah, blah. And then it ends here. Might as well dig up the fossil. So that leaves one, two, three, four, five, roughly. But yeah, there will be a line of three houses along this. And then I wanted to match up on the other side of the river, in which we will take the most curved part, which is right here. And this will be our measuring stick. So let me just double check. Okay, yes. This is the farthest the river comes, so. One, two, three, and I believe the house is five. Four, five. Let me just double check. Oh, it's only four. So the house is four wide. So noted. So we've done five here. Now let's find where the beach comes closest. It looks like it's over here. Let's come any closer than this. No, okay, so these bumps are as far as the beach comes in. And now here's these measuring sticks. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I gotta come up. I can't match that up. Okay, I can start right here though. So this is five. Is that better? Up a little more. All right, that's five away. Let's get rid of the other thing. Hopefully this ends in four, otherwise it's gonna be off-centered one. So let's dig two more spots. One. God, I hate when trees are in the way. Two. One. Two. One, two, three, four. Oh my god, it's actually perfect. making sure. Okay, yes, that is perfect. So here's where one row of houses goes. But I still have a little bit of measuring to do. I have the center from left to right. Now I need the center for up and down. I need to go to the other side to figure out where we're even starting. Down here is the straight part. 
Looks like I can count mostly with the weeds. One, two, three. One, two, three. That's going to be a little off center. One, two, three. A bridge is four wide. One, two, three, four. And then it only leaves one. Okay, actually, no, no, no. So one, two. One, two, three, four. One, two. Okay, that's centered. So then this. I believe. Hmm. Okay, before we take too long, I'll just go ahead and... I could throw the bridge there too. But yeah. You know what, I'll actually put it on the... Lining stuff up. See how much brain power this actually takes? Okay, so yeah, this is the center. I'll just plop it down here. Screw it. At least I'll have my line. If I have to move it back a few spaces, I have to move it back a few spaces. Not the end of the world. We have our center. It's a start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. It is perfect. So there's our center. But yeah, we gotta figure this out. I'm gonna go ahead and put a bridge here. Just what you need to jump across the river. Do I talk to Tom Nook or do I talk to uh, the villager? I still have to talk to Tom Nook to get the bridge up. Well, did you find a place for us to build a new home? Of course. Fine news indeed. We don't want to keep our customer waiting, so I'll proceed with construction at supersonic speed. We want our new island friends to start their lives here as quick as possible, after all. Hmm, this has got me thinking. We can't predict when someone will want to move here. But scrambling to secure a plot only when they need arises is much too haphazard of a way of doing business. Oh yes, of course. As part of improving infrastructure, we'll set aside plots in advance and put them up for sale. I'll have to charge a small processing fee, but if we get the buyer who moves in, I'll give you miles as a reward. Tyler, I hope I can count on your help again. Okay, so we do talk to him, but let's get a bridge going. Uh, bridges and clients? With the renovation of resident service, we, we have something. <laughs> With the renovation of resident services, we have something new for getaway package partic participants. This new service makes it easy and fun to add major projects such as bid. <laughs> I'll just say bidges and inclines to the island. Major projects don't come cheaply though, no no. Everyone, everyone on the island can freely contribute towards the construction fees. Hmm. 
Build a bridge. Uh, which one did I want? For that area, it's the brick bridge. Now I do have to check something, because there's something unfortunate about the island, inside my island. I'm pretty sure a bridge is four wide. But I'm wondering... And you can go a maximum of five across. But I am wondering... If I can do three. Will it shrink to three wide? Of course it won't. Dude. Like, that would have been perfect, too. And then I can't come over here... that's not wide enough. This isn't wide enough. I can place it here, but that's not the best look. It's also uneven. Or is it? Uh, let me imagine it. Now, we're not putting it here, but that was a dilemma. I figured out about the island, but okay. We can put a bridge here. But, uh, it's not the way I wanted it. Okay, so we have the bridge to the island. But I really wanted it to go here. This is where I wanted the bridge. Yeah, and then obviously, as you can see, nothing over here is four wide. All right, so we do have our bridge to the island. But for now, we gotta place a bridge over here so we have our markers. So we can line up these houses. We're gonna do it from over here just so we have the proper... Uh, nope. One more up. One more. One, two, one, two, perfect. All right. No, I actually don't have any money right now. I just wanted to get that there. Tom Milk here. Did you find a good spot for the brick bridge? A perfect spot. Wonderful. Now, as part of the kit you set up, Lloyd will stay and collect donations for the construction fees. Island residents can enter little by little. Once we reach our goal, construction will begin. Of course, you can feel free to make whatever hefty donations you want. And if you don't make any hefty donations, our goal might never become a reality. Anywho, all construction donations should go to Lloyd, and we'll talk again soon, hmm? Okay, so I basically need 200,000. We can gather that, because once we're done with all of this, the next episode is actually going to be getting all the creatures. The fossils will come naturally, but getting every creature in the game is the next episode. And once we get duplicates, we'll have plenty of money. But for now, that's just there. So I'm going to talk to Ken just in case. Another fossil. Speaking of fossils. Now, up. No. Yes. I'm on the wrong. 
wrong side. Oh, and because we're going to be time traveling all year, that's why I'm not picking any weeds yet. Until we're done with the time traveling aspect, there's no point in touching the weeds. I'd rather pick up a thousand weeds one time rather than pick up a thousand weeds like ten times. Alright, your home's up. You got good news from me or what? Seriously? You got me a personal red carpet and my own VIP cabana? That's Ken for an invitation to my own place to live. Oh. Alright, now I've really got to get back to my home island and get my things in order. Hasta la vista, Tyler. Uh, I had to be the kung fu rooster. What a first campsite villager. Let's grab these uh, Nick Miles. Don't want those to go to waste. All right, and we're done. We're almost done. We're almost free. I'll place down all the other shit later. All the other houses and whatnot. I'm out of a drink. Okay. We're in September now. It's salmon season. But we're not doing that yet. Like I said, we're just clearing all the tutorial stuff. And once Tom Nook says all we gotta do is decorate till we get to three stars. We're not doing that, because the next episode is going to be catching, again, every single creature. I'm not going to focus on fossils and completing, oh, and art, and completing the museum, but we're going to catch every single creature, and at least complete those parts. The other two will come naturally, as we play. Let's give a big ever free welcome to Ken. Make me so happy to have a new friend on the island. That's all for now. Hope you all enjoy the loveliest of lovely days. Alright, some mail. Ah. Uh, oh, it's Sunday. So there is a brief thing we could do. Get it out of the way. If I find Daisy May, we can buy turnips. There's Daisy May. We can just buy a quick stack of turnips, and then they'll rot if when I time travel. Hulu there, I'm Daisy May. I'm helping Graham Graham Joe now, selling her garden grown turnips. I'm here every Sunday morning selling turnips, so swing by to see me when you can. Ah, fooey, Daisy May. You forgot the sales pitch. Graham has told me enough times, I don't remember now how this goes by now. So, do you want to know how Sal Jones' stock market works? Yes, please. Um, okay, you can do this. So, turnips are a cute little root vegetable that are good for picking or stewing. Back. Graham Grams always says that stock market turnips are for sale and not eaten. I always forget. Anyway... If you time things right, they can be mighty nutritious for your bank account. Should I keep going with the explanation? Okay. Now, let's see then. Oh yeah, the whole point of buying our turnips is so that you can turn around and sell them at a profit. Graham Graham always says something about turning up a profit. Turning up a profit. I don't exactly get it. Anyway, you know Timmy, right? He's always in the market for buying. When it comes time for you to buy or sell, should I keep going? Let's hear it. Okay, this is a real important part, so I'm going to try my best to explain carefully. You don't want to buy these turnips and keep them for too long. They'll rot after one week. So if you buy some from me on a Sunday, you got to remember to sell them for the next Sunday or not time travel. 
Graham Graham always says there's nothing worse than a tent full of rotten turnips, but we actually want those for ants. Losing all those harder bells you spell? Lies is worse. Okay, that's the whole speech. So right now turnips are going for the maximum price, of course. We're only buying one stack, so... Alright, we'll just place it on the ground. We also need to catch some garbage. But while I'm here, might as well get those. First time you buy them. So I'll go ahead and place this outside my house, actually. So when we spawn in... My pockets are full. Nope. Go into your house. Just put in storage, everything. storage we'll sell everything else except the axe still very much need that I don't think there's gonna be a lot of room left in my storage I forgot to actually look at it Oh, never mind. Gotta go ahead one more day. We got another pink. Need a black, man. Another white. Not the worst. An orange. Okay, we have two oranges now. We can make a purple. Say hi to Ken. Okay. Right, his house is over here. Let me just make sure there's nothing with Tom Nook. Getting more inquiries about the campsite. You helped build. Yes, yes, my plan to draw visitors easily with the campsite has proven itself to be a masterpiece. We've laid the groundwork to increase tourism, and I hope the number of island residents. Now, if that positive word of mouth marketing about Everfree will just spread. I admit it, though, this is the most difficult part of our whole venture. Don't you worry, Mr. Nook. As long as we all work together, I'm sure we'll reach our goal of having KK hold a concert here. You feel the same way, right? Dreams do come true. Thank you all. I'm more determined than ever. We're not done, Tyler. 
and we're all counting on you. When you're ready to talk about the next part of a project, come ask me what should I do. Do I have to build all ten houses, though? I want to keep it at six until I actually have some Nook Miles tickets. How can I help you? Right, what should I do? The last major part. We start gathering feedback. Our focus right now should be improving the image of the island and gaining that all-important word-of-mouth marketing. I've asked Isabel to assist with uh, collating the feedback, so talk to her for the latest information. I think Isabel will have some good pointers on how we can improve the island's image as well. In short, we need to increase our population, improve the island's scenery. Okay, the... it's not too bad. And turn ever free into the most charming island it can be. Infrastructure is important, but let's plant flowers and use decorations to make this place look snazzy. Well then, thanks for your help. Hmm? Alright. Now that that's done, let's talk to Ken. Please spawn an ant immediately. Here he is. Ninja Rooster! Oh, Tyler, glad to see you. The Ken Express has arrived. It's a very messy train that needs to do some unpacking right now, so I'll have to catch you later. Alright, that's all I can do today. One more day forward. Oh. After Anchovy interrupts me. Hi Tyler, I heard a real cool rumor about you, chirp. You're gonna make Everfree famous so KK will perform here, yeah? I used to think KK was singing just to me whenever I wanted, but then I figured out how recordings work. <laughs> I really want to see him in person. I'll be cheering for you. Man, I've got an idea. Since the concert's gonna happen, let's have a place where folks can take a break. It'll be like this. Ooh, I'm tuckered out from all the concerting. I sure could uh, drink a juice and eat a snack and rest my feet. Anytime juice and snacks and KK are all happening at all at once, the same place, I'm a happy bird. Here, take this. A drying rack, really. <laughs> I am not putting that on this island. Oh, that reminds me though, I gotta sell this before I leave. Alright, you know what? Thank you, Anchovy. Head to the shop really quick. Hi, Ari. Kinda glad I talked now. So you know what? Thank you, Anchovy, for interrupting me. Okay, there was... Where was it? Okay, there's one there. to sell. Let's get rid of all of this. Not those.
That's bugging me now, though, so let's do this. Perfect. And you go here, and then normal wood goes here. Alright. Shop tomorrow. And then we're pretty much free. So, first day the shop's open on the island. And you can't see it because she's right behind the Animal Crossing sign. But Label is here. Oh, here we go. There she is. I don't even really have any clothes to change into to help her. But I really like the LaBelle set. Especially the coat. Well, we'll just go say hi, check out the shop. And that'll be this episode and we should be free. The Able Sisters tailor Tailoring Shop has opened. The tailor shop will have all the fashion items you'd expect, as well as a custom design gallery. This is a great chance for everyone to enjoy new styles and maybe start your own ever-free trends. And of course, we'll be holding a special ceremony to celebrate the happy news. If you are interested in participating and have the time, please check in with Tom Nook at Resident Services. That's all for today. Have fun. You know what I've noticed? It has not rained. We've time traveled about a month now, and it has not rained. Uh, why aren't you rotten? Why aren't you rotten? Bruh. Oh, well, it's not like it goes anywhere. It'll rot eventually. More fossils. Uh, the villagers are doing the little run through the uh, Wedgie Macala. It's cute. Okay, let's get these ceremonies out of the way. Still have another one for resident services. Hold a ceremony. Oh, okay. I guess I took too long for the resident services. So just this ceremony, going in, checking out the shop, and then we'll end the video. Now then. Mabel just looks. Or is that Sable? Welcome our, to our dedication ceremony honoring Everfree's brand new tailors. But yeah, Mabel just looks depressed. Well, she looks happy there. Thanks to everyone's tireless efforts, Everfree is developing wonderfully, yes, yes. At this time, we'll have some brief comments from Mabel and Sable, who will be running the tailor shop. Ladies, if you would be so kind. Thanks to everyone, we've been able to open such a lovely shop here. I'll work hard with my sister Sable, so Sable's the, uh, more depressed one, to make a nice place for you all to visit. Be sure to stop by. Yes, please stop by. Mabel, Sable, thank you both so much. Next, a few words from someone who made the value, many valuable contributions so that the tailor shop could be built. Take it away, Tyler. <sighs> oh, I'm now looking forward to the creature hunting.
Yeah, I can. Go home and unpack more. <laughs> okay. I would help you, uh, LaBelle, but I really don't have any clothes. Maybe that sh might actually change right now. Ah, I see a red. The reds clone themselves. Why don't you pop a black? Ken's checking out here, too. Oh, hey, it's the great spot finder, Tyler. Thank you for picking this fantastic location for us. It won't be here long. Once I actually get to laying down everything. We've decided to put down roots here on Everfree and keep uh, selling our clothes and accessories. Here, let me give you a quick tour of our shop. Okay, so when you first walk in, you'll find our recommended items right there, front and center. We change these up every single day, you know, to keep things fresh. Then over on the left, you'll find our mannequins that are dressed up in whatever seasonal outfits we're into. We change them up from time to time rather than daily. Still, we hope you'll be inspired. And of course, if you see something on the mannequins you love, you're more than welcome to buy it. Which brings us to the back wall, where you'll find custom designs uh, brought in by our customers. We'd love to display your designs, of course, and if you want any of these designs, they're yours for free. Speaking of custom designs, next to the wall displays you'll find our custom design portal. You can use this kiosk in order to, uh, to order designs from creators all over the world and even share your own. And the last thing I want to tell you about is the fitting room. It's on the right side of the bush. Back of the shop. This is where you can try on anything that's available for sale that day, including all the color variations. Our display space is limited, so the fitting room is also the place to check out items we couldn't put out. Yeah, the fitting room is really great. And it's a terrific way to see how an outfit comes together. I think that's everything. Thank God. 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Hope we've seen here lots. So what are the mannequins? Uh, we got the bomber jackets. There is an outfit I do like of the bomber jackets. Start talking to Sabel. She eventually warms up to you. All right. Do you have the beard? I want the beard. Chef Edo. Uh. Oh, they're just the slacks. They got the slacks. Um. So no beard. Rubber toe sneakers. All right, so not the best lineup, but there's a couple of things. Yeah, I really want the beard. free 90% still gotta build the four houses but now I can focus on some of the other annoying things next episode we catch every single creature in the game until then peace out every freeze coming together <laughs>